I hope you enjoy this video. It's about who knows what about the harmonicas that you're thinking of purchasing or that you already have. This is a Seidel Saxony with one of those Kettlewell Resonant Covers by Russ Cameron. Has a note button too. <clears throat> and a slider. Okay. So you want to buy a harmonica and you're trying to figure out Am I going to like it or not? Without having the ability to do what you do with every other project product that you buy, like a car or clothing, go try it on. You're not going to try these on. I don't know of anyone that will let you actually play them prior to purchase. There may have been some places years ago that would have allowed that. Met like four years ago. Okay, so let's talk about who knows what. Well, <clears throat> let's first define a couple of piece, types of knowledge that you might want to tap into. One of them is technical information. Technical information would be what is the material of the mouthpiece? Is it a curved mouthpiece or is it a flat mouthpiece? What's the material of the comb? What type of reeds does it have? Are they brass or are they stainless steel? Are they riveted on? Or like a Suzuki, are they spot welded? And which is better? So that's the world of technical information, okay? Now, Feelings, nothing more than feelings. User feelings. Now, this is a completely different area of knowledge. This is the knowledge of how does the player feel when they're playing the harmonica? What do they say about its tone? What do they say about the way it feels in the hand? Okay. Two types of information. All right. A manufacturer will be able to give you all of the information on this, but nothing on this. I don't mean this as a criticism, but many of the manufacturers I've done testing for have no clue, whatever, about how people who play them really feel about them in detail. They will have various levels of expertise of manufacturing, like Seidel's really good, very well designed. I would include East Top, very well designed. I'm I like Suzuki a lot. I think it's very well designed. So the manufacturers will know what the reeds are made out of, what the tolerances are, all that stuff, but they're not going to be able to answer any of these questions. Okay. Let's take a look at a quality vendor like Rock and Ron out of California. A guy like Ron will have a modicum of knowledge here, kind of, but he'll have a lot of data on how people feel about playing it. And they also won't be adverse to calling some of their customers and asking them, you know, hey, some guy asked me X, Y, Z. So I'm not talking about like Musician's Friend or Amazon, those kind of retailers. I'm saying a real human that runs a business They'll give you a, a lot of information on this. Okay. But there is a third type of individual that if you can find them, can give you everything. And that's somebody who does testing for the 
manufacturers. There's a few players out there who actually are retained usually as a favor by manufacturers to test their harmonicas. And oftentimes they'll make videos, but there is no quid pro quo. They won't say, we're sending you this for testing, you'll make a video, and you must say positive things. Testers don't normally do that. They'll really test it and they'll say if they like it or they don't. Some of the more professional testers will not say negative things, but will only say positive, so they won't make a video if it's going to be negative. But a tester has the advantage that they're going to know everything about the technical aspects because the testers are really knowledgeable and they're going to know a lot about how it feels to play it because they played it with a very critical mindset. So let's talk about what this means to you. If you want technical information on the harmonica, go to the manufacturer's website or call the manufacturer. They'll give you technical stuff. Phosphor bronze reeds, what kind of reed is it? You know, any kind of specification you want. If you want user feelings, you want to call an individual who has a retail business with chromatic harmonicas. And if you can find one, get to a tester. These guys don't advertise as a rule, but they're usually pretty well-known players pretty well-known technicians, and they'll know the whole picture. They'll be able to answer almost as many questions as the manufacturer, but they'll have this perspective too. That's the tester. You're gonna have trouble finding these. They don't advertise usually that they're a tester. They just do it as a favor. Um, Anyhow, uh, I thought this was a fun video because it, it, it kind of broke down what it is you're looking to find out or that I'm looking to find out about any harmonica I'm thinking of getting and be able to answer, you know, what is it and am I going to like it? Which becomes more complex because what I like you might not. There's a lot of personal predisposition and judgment in the whole thing. As an example, I play uh, Sidel Saxony quite a bit. I did put these covers on because it gives it more it gives it more projection. Uh, and it makes it easier to hold. That's actually very important to me. It's easy to hold. Uh, I like the fact that uh, Cytel Saxony has stainless steel reeds. It has dead air type from factory. I like that about it. Um, because it's a smaller thing, it's easy to cup in your hands and you can, you know, you do a lot of sound control with cupping in certain applications. Uh, but uh, so for a short th throw slide, you know, I like that. You know, four or five millimeters of slide movement versus seven to nine on some other harps. That's a big difference. Um, personally, the stainless steel reeds are, are very, very durable. I like that. I prefer the metallic comb. I think it's more stable than plastic, certainly longer lasting. Um, and uh, of course, I can rely on uh, the uh, excellent parts availability and service from the Seidel company. In my opinion, Seidel is the top manufacturer in the world at this time. There was a time it was Honer. There was a time it was Suzuki. Right now, I think it's Seidel. Lower cost, he's stuck. Those are just my prejudices. They're nothing more than my aggregate experience. One of the things I was really excited about with Eastup, because I did do testing for them on that EAP model, I mean, that harp's only like, you can buy those for 100 bucks on AliExpress, their EAP-16. It is dead air tight. Which for a $100 harp or 140 or 50, you know, if you buy it in the States, 
that's not very much money to get really an airtight instrument. And uh, I thought it was a, a deal. You know. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. You got a chance to hear some of my prejudices. <laughs> it's good that at least I realized that. And um, we learned about, you know, who knows the technical aspects of the heart? Manufacturers, pretty much. Although a good retailer will know a lot. User feelings, that would be a good retailer. One that has them both is the tester.